Hey everybody, RetroPie guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to go in and add additional emulators to RetroPie. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to the configuration settings page on your RetroPie game collection card. And once we're in here, we are going to go into RetroPie setup. And now we're going to go to the third option down, which is manage packages. We'll select that option. All right, so once we jump into manage packages, you're going to find a whole bunch of different package options here. You're going to find your core packages, your main packages, your optional packages, your driver packages, your experimental packages, and your dependency packages. So for adding additional emulators, you're typically going to find additional emulators in your uh, optional packages section and your experimental packages section. Now you will find a lot in main packages, but it's typically going to be uh, emulators that are already on RetroPie for you. So that's where you're gonna find your N64, your Super Nintendo, and Nintendo Entertainment System, um, MAME 2003. It's gonna be all of your standard emulators that you typically use a lot. So if we jump in there, I'll just show you. You know, they're typically gonna be already installed. You can go in here to update them if you ever need to update an emulator. Uh, so we will back out of here. And let's jump into optional packages. So just so I can show you exactly how this looks. So here you can find your advanced MAME, um, just a whole bunch of stuff on here. You can also at the bottom find, you, you'll find your PlayStation Portable emulator. Um, let's see, if we scroll all the way down, you'll actually find additional ports that you can download. This is where you can find Cody if you don't already have that on your RetroPie game collection card. You'll find your scrapers here too. So let's back out of this one, jump into experimental packages. This is where you'll find some of the um, usually more new um, and recently added emulators like the ReDream emulator, which is really amazing for Dreamcast games. Um, super stable and it makes playing Dreamcast games so much easier than what we had previously in the past. Also opens up a wider um, selection of games as well. So uh, a lot of great stuff in here. You have your additional newer MAME emulators, which are nice to have. And you can also find additional RetroPie ports here at the bottom. This is where you can find Steam Link, uh, Minecraft's in here, I think. A lot of great stuff in here that you could explore and you know test out. Um, so all that being said, let's back out. We are going to demo how to add an additional emulator to your RetroPie game collection card. So let's jump into optional packages. And we're going to add one of the advanced MAME emulators. So I'm going to select this one here. So all you have to do is select it and you're going to choose your options. So you can install from pre-compiled binary or you can install from source. Really doesn't make a difference. I'm just going to select from a pre-compiled binary. It's going to say, are you sure you want to install from pre-compiled binary? We're going to select yes. You do need to have a Wi-Fi connection here, so you can just go in your Wi-Fi settings. We do have a video that shows you exactly how to do that if you need that. It's super simple. You will need a keyboard, however, to enter in your Wi-Fi password. But usually adding these emulators is really simple. It takes just a couple minutes to do at the very most. So it's as simple as that, that took about uh, 40 seconds maybe at the absolute most. So most of these emulators, now some will take a little bit longer, but for the most part, you're looking at adding an emulator takes about a minute, minute and a half at the most. So um, it's literally as simple as that. So once you get back to this page, we can just hit back. So once we get back to this page here, you can see that the emulator has updated now in parentheses next to it says installed, and then it just says how you installed it. So it says via binary, because that's how we went in and installed this. So that's all we need to do here. Um, it is good practice and always a good idea once you do anything with the settings on RetroPie to always reboot your system. So we're gonna select back here. We're gonna back out of this page and we're gonna go down to perform reboot. If we select that, it's just gonna ask us, are we sure we want to reboot? We're gonna select yes here and that's gonna reboot our system. Once we do that, we are all set. We are able to actually use that emulator. So if we were jumping into a 
uh, MAME game, we could just hit A on our gamepad controller as it's loading that ROM in, and we can go and choose which emulator we use for that specific ROM. So we could go in and then and change from MAME 2003, if that's what we're using by default, and add in that MAME Advance emulator. Now that's not gonna work for every single ROM out there. Some ROMs are very specific to which emulator they work best on, so take that into consideration. But for today's video, I just wanted to demo the process of adding additional emulators. The process is the same, you know, regardless of which emulator you're adding. Same goes for uh, ports as well. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please smash the like button on the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of tutorials like this, gameplay demos, product reviews, just a whole bunch of great stuff in general. And of course, check out our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.